In this video, I'd just like to demonstrate how to recalibrate the hands on a modern quartz Swiss chronograph. The movement in this is the ETA G10211. It's very commonly used in uh, chronographs under $1,000. Uh, Tag Heuer uses a variation of this, Swiss Army, Tissot, Hamilton, just any, any Swiss chronograph uh, with, the, with an ETA movement should reset in a similar fashion to this, as well as some of the Japanese models. So um, to demonstrate how to work the chronograph, you use this top button to start the chronograph and the bottom, uh, the same button to stop it and the bottom button to reset. And as you can see in this video, the hands went to basically random places on the dial and the desired place is to have them all point straight up to what I would call the 12 o'clock position. Uh, it is quite simple to recalibrate this to have everything go back to where it should be. Uh, you pull the stem and crown out or unscrew it if on an applicable watch if it's a screw down crown and then you just manipulate the two o'clock pusher and you can set the two o'clock sub dial which is the hours recorder the bottom pusher the two the four o'clock pusher will manipulate the large sweep stopwatch hand and then I usually push it in and pull it all the way out again and the two o'clock pusher will manipulate the thirty minute counter and I am now, I've now got all of the hands pointing straight up to what I would call the 12 o'clock position. Push the crown back into running position. And to test it, you press the 2 o'clock pusher to start the chronograph. Press it again to stop it. Press the 4 o'clock pusher and everything resets to zero.